Oh shoot! Oh. What's up, guys? Oh. Hey, what's up? Time to create more. See, See that? That's what we're doing. We're creating, creating right more vlogs. Create more. I'm gonna put vlogs underneath. So our penny pack. What does that say? It's a brand called Only New York. What are you keeping that? Only New York stuff. Yeah, I keep you know because I'm uh, got my wallet. Nasal spray. Because I got allergies and stuff. I usually keep like chapstick and stuff, but that's like in my pocket. Where'd you get it? Oh, I got it online. So not in New York? Not in New York. Okay. So basically, Rob and I are going to give you a little story time we had yesterday. Oh yeah, final little story time. The reason the story even happened is I currently have a farmer's tan. When I go outside and walk around or run or work out, whatever I choose to do, I always wear a tank top and I've only tanned those spots. So now I have all the tan lines and my body's all not proportioned with the tan. So I was like, I got to start going outside shirtless every day so I can just get fully tanned. And I decided to bring Rob with me. Oh yeah. Is that cooked or no? Yeah. What is that? Oh, is it warm? It's warm. Uber Eats. Local my Uber Eats driver said, this is my second time delivering you food today. LOL. Okay. Just drop the food off. <laughs> what did he want you to say? Hey, thanks. I tip him every time. I tip him like 20%. Is that not enough? I don't know. I guess he was lonely. Meanwhile, my Uber Eats driver today left it out the front outside. The lady at the desk called me and said, hey, your Uber Eats food is just outside. And I told her she could bring it up. She said, no, I don't want to do that. So please don't give her a tip. I said, what the heck? So I had to go all the way downstairs. <laughs> Mine came straight to the door. Yesterday, we went for a run outside. We went for a run outside to that little track that we like to go we to. We track. ran like seven miles yesterday. We ran a whole bunch. I didn't think that Rob could keep up with my pace. I've been running since I injured my hand in April, April all the way till now, pretty much every day, if not, I've missed one or two days a week. Working up a pretty good stamina. And I was like, all right, Rob, it takes two miles to get to this other trail that I just found. So I thought Rob would just do that with me. And then he could just walk up and down while I do another five. This man didn't stop. His engine was going. My legs are feeling good too. Not even sore. Nah, they're not even sore. And we had no water with us. That was no water? Part. No. <laughs> so, oh, this, no, this no, no. We, did. we had our bag with our boxing gloves, the waters, the speakers, and then Noah carried all all of that. I attempted no. to. Rob's like a seasoned boxer now. He's gonna fight any YouTuber that he calls out. So <laughs> watch out. And so I had the mitts, had the gloves. I thought that I was gonna be able to run with this backpack on. And I was like, it's probably equivalent to wearing a weight. Like a weighted a vest. Weight vest. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I could. I need to sweat some more. You can't run with the backpack on. He Rob. was struggling. All he was doing what again? He said. <laughs> <laughs> and when you run. You can't run without your arms. I'm sorry. You need the arms. The arms make the legs go. So I was holding the straps. It didn't work. Try to flip it to the front. It in the face. So what we did was we left it under a bush. And we just hoped that nobody would steal. And we ran five miles and came back and it was still there. Yeah, we ran our miles. Came all the way back. Felt really good. And then we were sitting under the bush, the little tree that we dropped the bag off. And out of nowhere, I just see this dude. He looked weird. Ooh. Earphones in, long, greasy hair. On the phone. Ooh. He was on the phone and you're us. You're just doing your thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I was thinking we can box and we can work out outside. Ooh. What's weird is when we got to the park, we were at the very end and we spotted him. And I remember he looked at us for longer than five seconds and we walked all the way across to the other end. And as we were sitting there talking, I turned around and he was right there. He had somehow followed us. He would do the, like, if you were us, mm -hmm. he'd be on the phone. <laughs> Bro, that's scary. I was like, does he like watch the videos? Does he want to be our friend? Clearly he knew who y'all were. He seemed older too though. Yeah. Like, he's not part of, he's not the demographic really. He's like late twenties. So that's why I was kind of sketched out. We moved spots. We moved again. Yeah. And then same thing. As we're doing our little workout, he would just appear. Like I didn't even see him follow us. We're like, okay, we're getting away from him. We're like yards away, like half a football field away. We're punching and stuff. As I'm punching, I look to the right and he's on the phone like this. <laughs> yeah, when I was just talking about the thing, and, and then Rob's like, I think he's following us. I was like, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> he was so, literally following us and just being weird. Like, he pretended like he was going for a run now just so he could go and look around. He wasn't even wearing Like, dude, you're not running. <laughs> he was on the track. <laughs> I had the gloves on though. I could have. Yeah, Rob was about to knock him out. Rob actually almost punched me in the face too. We I missed and then it went like. <laughs> and I yeah. almost got clocked by Rob, but. We have to show the vlog one day. Yeah, we'll take y'all out next time. I have to complete my whole farmer's tan. Haven't you had someone follow you before at the trail or something? I, or kid, like people looking at you? Oh yeah, yeah, I've had like kids look at me. I always get these weird scenarios where people follow me. I did have a old woman at Drexel follow me at night when I was walking to a classroom to go do some homework. Okay. She asked me if um, she wanted to suck my D for $5. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, she would give you five? I guess. Or or you you had to give her five. Oh yeah, she wanted money from me.
from me. Okay, okay. It was sketchy, like Drexel Billy, where we were at, like, right in the city. And I just remember this like small little woman just looking, <laughs> hey. And she kept talking to me, and I was like, hey, what's up? Clearly, like you know, itching herself. Something was <laughs> happening. So I could hear five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Walked away. Super sketchy. She didn't look like a threat to me, so I wasn't scared. But the vibes and the creepy talk. She kept complimenting. She's like, you have nice hair. Oh, but you play any sports? She kept doing it, and I was waiting for the punchline. And she said it. Was not prepared. <laughs> five dollars seems like a steal, to be honest. Yeah. Well. What? But, you know, I don't want to catch nothing. No, pulls out a well, yeah. in his pocket. He's like, can I just keep it to this day? <laughs> <laughs> and she actually give it right back. <laughs> we went the other day and there was like kids, they were like working out. I was like, just so happy seeing these two little, probably like 14 year olds working out, doing some like football drills or something. I was like, mm, that's right. You guys are young, work on your craft mm -hmm. right now. If you see us in public one day or something, just say hi. Say I feel up. like we're pretty nice. Yeah, and I would like to talk. Be like, oh, what do you like? What should we do next? A lot of people think we're mean, right? They like in, are in intimidated by us. We did. The little kids looked kind of scared. We were all strapped up. So yeah. We did give off that. Yeah. They, didn't, they looked at us. They ain't saying nothing. <laughs> yeah, like Rob said, like, if you see us in person, which, I mean, won't be for a little minute because mm. uh, thing going around. People, first off, I don't think understand the concept of peripheral visions. I can see you looking at me. So it's like, if Noah is lovely serve, and I'm a person who knows him, this is how y'all really be acting. Yes, it is. Yeah, look. Yeah, it's a look, he's a YouTuber. He's a YouTuber. He's a YouTuber. Yeah, he's a YouTuber. YouTuber. Love this love this server, right? Yeah. Bro, I, there's been people we've had Zara was it Zara? Yeah. Kid like this. <laughs> Just get a picture with him. <laughs> the kid literally standing like this. Like sniping you from the <laughs> from Dude, the shirt I, aisle. I see. I see you with your phone up. Say, hey, what's up? Can I take a pic? I would like, in the comments, do y'all think we look scary or intimidating to come up to? I think on camera we look very nice. Everybody's gonna say, no, y'all no. don't. And then when it comes time to see us in person, they're just like, ah. Everyone's so gangsta until you see LLS in person. I literally had a guy come up to me. We were at the Beverly Hills Center. Yo, you know about? I looked down and could see him holding my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> like, he was literally on my photo. And I was like, yeah, man, what's up? Oh, yeah, what's up? And he walked away. <laughs> <laughs> or, the, or the, they come up and don't say anything and then you're like hey uh, do you want, did you want a picture or something no oh, <laughs> oh okay. that's literally happened no we're super grateful for anybody that comes up to us or watches us but we're nice guys in 2022 when everyone can walk around again let's do something let's do another meetup hey vlogs meetup one million vlog meetup and today there's not really any schedule but rob what are we up to huh what are we doing you want to go by the pool oh i'm actually leaving right now i'm leaving for the day i'll be back though I'm sorry, um, sound like you said you're leaving. Um, I'm about to head out, I'm gonna drive somewhere and then I'll be back later, but um, I'm gonna get something to go. Bro. You're leaving? Gotta get a little Yerba Mate to go. You're leaving again? Yeah, what's the issue? How many times have Noah and I left? Um, not sure. Zero, <laughs> zero times, but you're leaving. Think up. I don't know, I'll get the door for you. Can I talk to you for a second? Actually, no, I'm about just go. Wait, I don't even wanna talk to you. No. Not even for a second? Nope, not even for a second. Let's go. Are you good? I know. Are you good? I thought we were cool. What does you need? No, I'm gonna be back though. What else? Are you, do you have all your keys? Your car keys? Let's no. go. There you go. Cause no, cause if you had a car too, you'd be going places. So yeah, too. you're gonna be late. Do you all wanna go? You're gonna be late. I just have to take photo, graduation photos yeah, from my okay. friend. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. All right, this one. Don't let the door hit you on the ass on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> I hope whatever you're doing right now was really worth it. Put that mask on. Be I'll, safe. I'll think about it on the drive home. And then when you come back, I'll talk to you for more than a second. I'll talk to you for an hour. An hour talk? Yeah, hour talk. So that's mean, does that mean hour vlog? Hour vlog. Do y'all want an hour vlog? <laughs> I was talking to Rob. Two different sock colors? So, my clothes, we just, so we just got new typos. So you guys wash your clothes and then I was gonna wash mine and they're in the dryer. And these were the only two socks I had left. The other ones were dirty. You're still leaving, right? Yeah, I was just about to head out, but then uh, I'll be back, so. Bye. Peace. Peace. He's literally, leaving. like, that was it. That wasn't even, like, a skit or nothing. He's literally leaving. You show me new pickups? Um, yeah, let me show you new pickups. He's back! <laughs> I forgot my SD card. <laughs> <laughs> I got Jimmy John's meatball sub. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Get out of here. You can't tell me what to do. I'm just getting out of here. I was gonna get out before you even told me to get out. So do leave then. I was gonna do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, peace out. Peace out.
Firehouse subs, not Jimmy Jones. Just bought this new wig for Karen video. Karen's be like. Let me just put on my jacket real quick. Oh, you guys like this jacket? Oh, you all said you liked it? That's crazy, because who's that character? Our friend, his name is Vincent Peak. Vincent Peak 20. Follow him on Instagram, first off. Uh, we'll pop it up. He is a designer, painter, artist. I mean, he made these little backpack joints, which he gave to me for free. Shout out to Vincent for doing that for me. Well, he lives in Philly. He designs these clothes and hand paints everything. And I looked at his stuff. I said, wait, this is hard AF. So I said, bro, send me some stuff. So I gave him some coins. He then gave me these back in return. They just got in here. Bro, these are hard. Like, this is just a little jacket. Maybe not the shorts, but cool jacket. And he has these characters that he paints onto him. I don't even know what the heck this is about, but it's hard. And then this is the one he painted, the other one. They don't have names necessarily. I could even FaceTime him and he could probably say a little bit more about it. We could do that later. That'd be interesting. Then I had these three pairs of jeans. So hand painted all of these and what I like about it is, in essence, it's it's simple. It's not like it's a photo realistic image, but I don't know if y'all even realize the amount of precision and time that takes to make something like this, to make the lines straight, and like you get one go at a lot of these lines. These took hours and hours and hours to make, and they're mine now. <laughs> Please clap. This one was cool, and then he made me this one, and he makes them all one of a kind too, so no two will be the same with his paintings. Like, what the heck, why is that so cool? All kind of vintage style with the old, what is this, Wrangler or something, a little jeans. And then this guy here, other leg, he makes these characters a lot with these long ass necks. Cool stuff. Super cool. So thank you to Vincent. Make sure you guys check him out. I don't know if he's doing commissions, but he sells stickers and sells toys and these backpacks. Where'd I put that backpack? Right there. I put it over. Man, I'm about to head up. Like, this is like funky. Like, who do you know rocking something like this? That's why I really respect this guy, Vincent. First off, do you guys know anyone named Vincent? Have you ever met a Vincent before? Uh, I know a Vincent. Cool. They're my parents' friends though. I don't know him. I don't know Vincent. There you go. No one doesn't know Vincent. I don't know. This is the only Vincent we know. So, bro, with the little horns in the thing? Bro, just tell me that's not hard. This is cool. Whoa. So I'm about to be vibing around with this. Or this with a t-shirt. Thank you to Vincent. He's super talented. I wouldn't even say DM him on Instagram because then he might get flooded with stuff. But uh, if you guys pay him to make something for you, I'm sure you guys would really enjoy it. So thank you, Vincent. The stickers I was talking about, I just found them. He just gave me some. He'd just be making these. Like, what a cool illustration that you can just toss on something. So I'll slap these on somewhere. Cool stuff, though. Uh, we went to Drexel in Philly in school. So I support artists and people who are doing things that I deem cool. So... Bye.